Do you ever decorate your shops and tell yourself that you'll never visit Able Sisters, so you put it on this weird tiny cliff and try to awkwardly shove that cliff on another cliff, and then you cover everything in a random mess of custom designs to try to cover up the fact that you had no plan whatsoever for this area? Just me? Just me? Okay. Hello and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to another video. As you might have guessed, yes, we're redoing my shops today. Do I even put out new builds anymore? I guess not. I'm, I'm redoing my island in case you haven't heard, but stick with me once we fix all the uh, problem child areas. I still have a lot of empty space where we will see some new stuff, so don't worry. Anyways, after finishing my sweet shop video, I kind of realized that I kind of hate how Able Sisters looked in the back of it, and all the custom designs are just like so messy in front of Nooks, both because of me swapping some out and because that's just how I decorated it. <laughs> So of course we're clearing out this area first and I am focusing now on just this little chunk because I decided to put Abel's right next to Nooks. Wow, so original. I totally didn't do that exact uh, thing on my first island. <laughs> no. So to do that, I did have to add a little bit of space so that the building did actually fit here. And after marking it all out, I realized we need more room. So back to terraforming I go. And while we're here, honestly, I will never do a river like this again. I have found that it just gets in the way. It really just gets in the way of things and is really annoying. It, it makes my map look look cute you know with a little frog shape on it but yeah I'm not gonna do any river shapes like this ever again it's just it's not worth it so after regretting my life choices there for a sack I headed over to resident services of course to get Tom to actually do something for me for once and help me move the tailors oh hi Mabel I haven't seen you since they added this button into Animal Crossing I also went ahead and demolished this incline faster than I demolished a plate of chicken alfredo approximately four breadsticks and an appetizer of minestrone soup from Olive Garden now now we're finally able to place the Taylor's building down. It's a couple spaces further towards us compared to Nook's, which is fine. I was kind of limited by the river placement, but we can just pretend that it was a design choice. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely cannot decorate around a building if it hasn't been built yet and it has this empty plot look. Like I need to see how the items look up against it or next to it, around it, whatever. So for now, we're wiping away the custom designs and I will refrain from making a wiping slash poop joke here but if you want to pretend that I made one and it was funny feel free but after time traveling to the next day Abel sisters is in position and I do have to say looking at both nooks and Abel's side by side it's very cute when they're together I think it's a great idea to have a shopping district of course it's just so easy to put them next to each other and just call it a day so I won't be too hard on myself for recycling the same idea I guess but for sure my next island I want to have something different I am not doing this three times in a row no thank you so definitely gonna look forward to that but anyway focusing back on this build since I wasn't gonna use this cliff to have able sisters on top of it anymore I was able <laughs> I get it, able. I was able to destroy a little bit of it, shave a little bit of it down, and we're back to swiping off all these custom designs. Don't even try to tell me swipe or no swiping because just look at me go. Fun fact, I actually used to wake up really early in the mornings as a child, like I guess in elementary school. Uh, I would wake up before my parents were even awake and I would go into my room and I have vivid memories of going up to my mom and like sh gently shaking her and being like, mom, can I watch Dora? <laughs> <laughs> like I was that kid who would just ask for permission I would never ever just like do things and worry about the consequences later like I would ask to turn on the TV before my parents were even awake like most kids would just literally just turn on the TV and just like be like okay well if mom and dad wake up then they wake up and if they see me then they see me but no I would always ask first my mom would always be like yes and then I would go turn on the TV and I would watch Dora and obviously barely retain any of it because I cannot speak Spanish so I don't know how productive those uh, Dora filled mornings were maybe not that much but 
I had a good time. That's what's important. So now we're adding a little rainbow designs, a little rainbow borders onto the paths. These are what I've been using across my whole island. And this is the choice, the sacrifice that I had to make instead of having just this utter mess of custom designs everywhere. I have decided to streamline all of my roads and to instead put these borders on them. And some roads are only two tiles wide. Some roads are three tiles wide. So some roads, like the three tiles ones, I can fit some custom designs in the middle, but on the ones that are only two tiles wide, like you can see to the right of nooks off of this cliff, is only two tiles wide. So there I cannot fit any custom designs. So if I am smart and I make space and I make the roads three tiles wide, I can squeeze in some extra custom designs. But all in all, the, the moral of the story is that I'm streamlining everything and we are just putting these custom designs so I know exactly what I'm putting on the roads and I don't have to be like, oh, what am I going to put here? What custom designs go on the street? And then I just kind of like dump like all of my custom designs on the streets because I just don't know what to put. It does make it look less cluttered, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. I am a big fan of clutter and just like having custom design craziness in certain spots i don't mind it i think it's fun i because i love all of my custom designs but i know uh probably most people don't really like clutter so it is a good thing it, do it does look a lot more clean i will give you that i will give you that in terms of decorations really i didn't do much <laughs> i really didn't do much this area before had a lot of stuff everywhere i feel like i had a lot of boxes everywhere for like that shop feel like the boxes that Timmy and Tommy were getting but they were kind of in the way I feel like I did have to like maneuver around things and have these little winding paths to walk through all the items and I didn't really like that very much I wanted a clear path that I could walk across and I know that the parking spaces with the scooters are like kind of in the way but that's like the only thing that's like the only thing and I had to keep those here I wish I could put them on the left but Unfortunately, they would be covering the little drop-off box. So I did have to stick them on the right side and they're kind of in the way, but it's okay. And then I wanted to find some clothes to put outside of Abel's. So I did look up Froggy Crossing and oh my goodness, look at all these wonderful designs. You guys are so talented and this is all so cute. I had a lot of fun scrolling through all of them. Honorable mention to the hot dog water <laughs> dress, good soup dress that I found. That was so cute. So I put a couple of them outside. I put this, uh, that blue Froggy Crossing one that I found and then the other dress was just like a cute one that I had saved for a while I think or saw somewhere but we put those outside because I feel like I did April Sisters dirty with my very first decorating decorating of it like I just I didn't give Abel's anything it was bad so I was like, okay, you deserve some actual clothes outside of your shop. And then here I wanted like a little pond area. I feel like that was really cute. Like I was feeling like park vibes kind of for like this little grassy area. That's why I have the fountain. I have the bench. I have a little water fountain. Please don't drink out of the big fountain. I've already had to pull my villagers out of that. And it just, it's not clean water. Please don't drink it. So I do have this little toy pond that I used and it has like a bunch of little toys floating around. So I thought that was really cute cute and adding some extra custom designs but we'll go back to the pond don't worry I was not well, why do I edit the videos like this I wasn't done talking about the pond anyway <laughs> of course I also had to add a tree standee I need to add more tree standees and like the the standees in general because I really do love that kid core vibe that they give while at the same time being uh, vertical and giving lots of uh, vertical heights because I'm always looking for tall things to put into builds. But finishing off this corner with my final design, some boxes, the uh, little fortune cookie cart thingy. And then here I'm also using another standy, a little grass standy, which I kind of low-key wish was a little bit bigger, but I guess that's what the bushes are for. But I felt like it was really cute, kind of like sticking out of the pond. So that's what we did. And then of course I just go and work on other stuff. Let me go back to the pond, please. That's where I live as a little froggy. Anyway, put that stuff to the right of nooks. I don't know why I just have that one strip there, but it is what it is, you know? Adding another box, putting some tiles down. Of course, I have to get my froggy tiles in and putting a little manhole cover, putting some more custom designs, being really picky about where I place these leaves. I don't know why, but there we go. 
And then I decided I didn't like this little froggy head, so instead I put down a rainbow. I don't know. I, I did make this little froggy design, but I don't find myself using it a lot. I kind of want to add some more shading to it or something, maybe in the future. But here we go. The best part of this whole thing is a little duck on the lily pad. So cute. So cute. I love that they put the little duck item. Uh, it's so much more kid core than the uh, wooden duck or whatever. And then here, I'm just adding these fences along this cliff because I didn't know what else to put. So we're adding these fences to take up a little bit of space. I don't really know. <laughs> that's where that's what we're doing. And then honestly, we are mostly done just for a couple little tweaks, replacing a little custom design here. And then I did have this cliff space right here that was empty. I debated putting some stuff on it and decorating it with items, but I was like, you know what? Everything around it is already pretty decorated. It's already pretty cluttered, especially in the ca uh, candy sweet shop area. So I just decided to put these tiles on top and just call it a day, honestly. So that is really it. That's the end of the bills. This is how it came out. Again, I feel like this is much more simplified and just a lot less cluttered. And I can actually walk around, which is a great, great thing. And I just love this little section right here. It's super duper cute. Here's a little walkthrough for you of everything just to see it one final time. Lots of items everywhere, but I, I was really intentional with where I placed the items and I feel like you can actually, again, walk around. It's the best thing. <laughs> so that's gonna be it from me today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for joining me in my renovation series again. Thank you for the patience while I redo the same areas that you've seen already, but we will be doing some new builds and stuff like that very, very soon, hopefully once I get some ideas. If you want any of the uh, custom designs that I use, they are also in my master list Google Doc that is very messy down below in the description. So check it out if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching this video again, and I will see you in the next one.